and welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo. So happy to have you guys with us. It's the beginning of a new year, and with the spirit of giving still in the air, we have another special edition of our traditional Help for the Holidays segment where we feature a nonprofit organization that has done a great job offering much needed services to our community all year round. And now this is actually our turn to make a difference by helping them so they can continue helping others. Today, we're featuring the Puerto Rican Festival of Massachusetts. Massachusetts, an organization that has really made a big difference in the lives of hurricane victims in Puerto Rico. Joining us this morning is their vice president and communications director, Greg Molina. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Thank you for having me, as usual. I am very excited to have you guys here, Greg, and I've had you guys on for the past couple of months because sure. of what happened in Puerto Rico and because of the great work that you guys have been doing there. Well, I'll tell you, it's been nonstop since the hurricane hit in Puerto Rico. Uh, we mobilized right after the hurricane hit. We've had various fundraisers since then. Uh, December 23rd, we had a very big fundraiser in conjunction with uh, the Boston uh, Firefighters Union over mm -hmm. at Florian Hall. Mm -hmm. And the response was just re remarkable. We had about 500 people that showed up. Yes. Uh, we collected close to $15,000 in donations and toys wow. that are currently being distributed in Puerto Rico by our president, Eddie Alicia. Yes. We do want to say hello to Eddie. We do. And he is there, and we can see the pictures of him with the toys, correct? Correct. And now for Three Kings Day, right, in Puerto Rico. They that is correct. Yeah, and, and actually, you know, Three Kings Day is a very big thing in Puerto Rico, as you know. It's it's mm -hmm. very traditional. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we were able to get those toys out there before Three Kings Day happened. Yes. And yes. we were lucky enough to be able to organize the transportation and distribution in order to make that happen. It must have been very tough for a lot of families, obviously, out there, you know, to be spending the first Christmas now with after, you know, this big devastation. But for the children, you know, like you said, a toy means so much to them. Exactly. Especially, you know, in the areas that still don't have any electricity either. There's still close to 30% of the island that doesn't have electricity three plus months after the actual hurricane hit. So yes. uh, we wanted to make sure that the kids had something to look forward to. Um, and, but I got to tell you, the people, the spirit of the people in Puerto Rico, it continues to be uh, very festive, uh, even with no lights to go out and have a good time. And we wanted to make sure we were part of that. Yes. And we do want to highlight the fact that the Puerto Rican Festival of Massachusetts has always been an organization just organizing this one big event. That's but correct. that is no longer the case because after this happened in Puerto Rico, you had to just step in there and do talk to us about all the work that you guys have been doing. Uh, sure. I think, you know, the first thing that we did was, you know, after checking in with our families, making sure everybody was fine, mm -hmm. uh, it was the community that actually came to us and said, hey, we need you guys to step up. Uh, and we really didn't know how because we were more of an event organizer than yeah. a community organization. Yeah. So what we did is we met, uh, we had a community meeting, about 200 people showed up, and really it was just an information session more than anything else. And then from that, all these different initiatives came out. Okay, so this segment, Greg, and again, it's the first time that I have you guys for the Help for the Holidays segment. It's a special segment because we feature, you know, like I said in the introduction to this uh, segment, um, a nonprofit that has been doing a great job, yeah. and you guys have definitely done that. So this is the opportunity for our viewers to help you guys. Absolutely. What do you guys need? You know, we, we continue to tell people the biggest thing we need is donations. You know, our Boston Strong for Puerto Rico and Friends Fund, uh, they can get information on that on our Facebook page or our website uh, you know that's the biggest thing we are currently after this phase of giving toys and donations to the people in Puerto Rico we're gonna look to see what we do in the spring yes. and then something even bigger around the festival uh, as you know now is the planning stages of the festival last year was the biggest one we ever had this year we look for it even better mm -hmm. so a little donations. bit of everything donations in general but i would think monetary donations are also great right no, so yeah that's what i meant actually more monetary donations than physical donations mm -hmm. because uh, the issue with physical donations is transportation it's extremely expensive for us to send yes. uh, those donations over to puerto and rico and it's easier to just use the money to go ahead and buy things correct, over there correct okay and it's well, also we know what's going on over there now that we have boots on the ground exactly. so it makes it easier for us to kind of yes. see where it's better distributed yes again I'm happy to have you guys here I appreciate talking it. about thank this you. and continue the great work that you guys are doing in Puerto Rico thank you very much looking forward to a happy new year thank you Greg once again if you feel like making a difference and would like to help the Puerto Rican Festival of Massachusetts so they can continue helping hurricane victims in Puerto Rico you can visit their website Puerto Rican festival of ma.org you can also get a direct link to their website and their social media pages visiting us
CBS Online at cbsboston.com slash centro. And like every week, we want to remind you that you can get more information on today's show and our past shows. You can watch both the English and the Spanish versions of Centro on our website. If you have time, visit us right now. If not, come back later for more of Centro. We also want you to connect with us online. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next time.